Typing a long email on your phone can be a real pain. First, let's do a quick refresh on the basics. You know shift to capitalize, but you hit shift twice and it turns on caps lock. To get to edit menus, press and hold. You get options like select all, select word, cut, copy, paste, you get it. Now something called long hold features. If you hold your finger down on a letter that has an alternate character or a symbol, those options will pop up so you can choose them directly, meaning you don't have to go through the extra steps of hitting the symbol or number button to switch keyboards. That saves two different finger movements. And that may not seem like a big deal, but these efficiencies add up. Also, secret long hold features. On the symbol keys, there's some real hidden gems. Hold down the dollar sign for alternate currency symbols. There are more obscure punctuation options, and the numbers include common fractions. That takes half the time of typing one slash two. Next, you have a chunk of text that you regularly have to type into an email, like directions. Well, for that, use insert memo. Fire up the Android memo app, write your repeated text, and save it. Then when you're typing an email that needs that text, choose Insert Memo and choose what you previously saved. Now a dialing shortcut. If you have a lot of contacts and you don't want to scroll through them when you're trying to call someone, type their name in the keypad. It's kind of like old school texting. I type the numbers that have corresponding letters for my friend Joel. And boom, there's his contact info. Finally, you don't have to use the stop keyboard, the one that comes preset in the phone. On most phones, you'll have two or three different keyboards baked in. Hold down or find the gear symbol in the keyboard and you'll see these options. Your standard Android keyboard, the swipe keyboard, and you may also have a keyboard particular to your manufacturer. Standard Android keyboards are hunt and pack, tap, 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 tap. But swipe lets you slide your finger from key to key and it guesses the word from the pattern. I've gotten really used to swipe and I find it faster, but hey, this is a very personal choice.